Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith. Let's talk about proxy workflows in Adobe Premiere Pro. All right, what is a proxy? A proxy is a lower resolution version of a video that you're able to work with easier on your system. Typically, when you're working with some high res files, maybe stuff from the red camera, 4K, uh, giant drone footage, and uh, you wanna be able to work on that on a laptop or a medium grade system, then you're gonna create proxies. Adobe Premiere Pro makes the proxies, attaches the proxies, and with one button, you can flip them in and out. The only thing you have to remember, it doesn't work with interchange options. So if you use the project manager, render and replace, AAF, uh, EDLs, Final Cut Pro, XML, if you use any of those, the proxy information is gone. Don't. If you use merge, the merge clips and sync secondary sound, doesn't work with that. So you cannot work with those. It's strictly for everything else, uh, but it's pretty easy to do. Let's take a look. You'll notice that there is a new tab in Premiere Pro. And again, if you don't see these features, time to upgrade. There's an ingest option and you can ingest, set your ingest settings here. You can also set them once the project's created and you can also set them in the media browser. I'm just gonna go through these right here. When you turn this on, these become available and you have four options. Copy, transcode, create proxies, and copy and create proxies. First of all, copying, you can uh, use this just to copy the media and you can verify the media with MD5 verification. It might seem obvious to a lot of people, well, I take my card and I move the video clips from my card to my computer and I edit them. Isn't that copying them? That is copying them. But when you're in the world of very high-end uh, workflows, you wanna make sure that the copy doesn't rely on the operating system. That's why an MD5 verification is a hash where it guarantees every single bit of information came from the card and made in that. If that's important to use, great, choose that. If not, don't worry about it. You can choose the destination of that as same as the project, use a preset destination. You can go to Creative Cloud Files and choose location if you want. So that's copy. You can also use this to transcode files. And transcode is just a word meaning convert the format, go from R3D to H.264. Um, here you can match the source and choose any of these codecs. So these are the codecs built in, uh, things like AVC Intra, DNX HD, GoPro, uh, Cineform, and uh, XD Cam. You can also add your own ingest preset. So if you click here, you can pick one and I'll show you how to add that in a bit. And again, you can also set the source. You can choose to create proxies. So now we get into specific formats. For instance, well, let's go look at some of these, 1536, 790. All of a sudden you'll see frame size scaling compatible with 6K. So if you've got 6K media that you're bringing in and you need a proxy, that's a good choice. If we go to this one, 1024, 540, you'll now notice now it says frame size compatible with 4K, 5K, and 8K. And that's because you're basically taking a, a division, an equal division of that larger frame size. And Adobe will take care of, Premiere Pro will take care of, of changing the scale of that while you're working with it. You don't have to worry about anything. If you find that when you, you use these proxies, you may have black bars that, that aren't the same, then you need to find the ratio of that file, uh, that specific uh, aspect ratio and create a proxy. I'll show you how to do that in a sec. So that's creating the proxies. Now we can combine the two, copy and create the proxies. And here you get to choose the same formats as I was mentioning. You get to choose the destination of where they're going and the proxy destination. So they don't have to be in the same area. So when you think about this for a second, here's my card, I plug in my card, copy all the media over here on this backup drive, copy all of the media that is your transcoding onto my uh, scratch disk drive for transcoding and, and working off proxies all done for you, the kind of operations you normally would have done manually. If you've done this kind of stuff in Prelude, then this should all be very familiar, this kind of ingest idea. So I'm gonna create, I'm not gonna ingest from here, I'm just gonna create 
my new proxy demo. Click OK, and this is a normal Premiere Pro project that opens up. I've opened up my media browser on the left-hand side to show you that this is where the ingest button is. If you have the ingest button on and you bring in any video file, not audio, this will not transcode audio. If you bring in any video file or video audio file, it will transcode that all the time. You have to make sure that when you have that turned on, you want to transcode. If you click on the wrench, it'll take you to the same option. This is the project settings. You can also get to that through the file menu, project settings, ingest settings. So three ways to get to that, okay? Let me bring in one of these clips here. This is a, uh, a red clip, and I'm gonna right click and import that. It's imported, and I can begin to work with this. And if we go to the window menu and open up our progress, you'll see that this is starting to transcode in the background and I'm playing this back and you can see it's a little bit choppy. That's because this is very uh, large high res media, but it's making the proxy for me in the background. <clears throat> okay. I can still work with this. I can go and grab another clip if I want and drag, drag that in. It's going to add that to the queue. Now you'll notice that it says waiting and every single time I'm scrubbing the timeline, this is actually running media encoder in the background. So media encoder is, is the place where these files will be read. They'll encode in the background as long as I'm not scrubbing the timeline. There's, there's just not enough computing power to put in a red file, scrub the red file, and encode the red file to a proxy on the back end. So every time you're scrubbing or playing in the timeline, Media Encoder will pause. That's just, that's the way Media Encoder has always worked at a background. You can see that this one is now done and it's starting to work on the next one. So each one of these are being transcoded to the proxy that I had set up. Now. Right now, these are the high-res files. If you want to switch to proxies, we're going to turn on a button that isn't on normally. Over in the button editor, you click that, you'll see this new icon, toggle proxies. Drag that down, click OK. It's gray, meaning it's not engaged. And when I click on it, I'm now using the proxies. That's as easy as it is. You can't really see that much of a difference right here, especially when, when my display is, is collapsed. You might see this if you're going out to a second very large screen display. But Premiere Pro is taking care of not only making and attaching the proxy, but also scaling that proxy automatically for me. Back in the, in the uh, project window, if we go to our list view, you can't really tell whether something is a, a proxy over here. So I'm gonna turn on a proxy setting and I'll click in here and choose Metadata Display. And if you just type the word proxy, you'll see that under the Premiere Pro metadata, there is a proxy field. So I'll select that, click OK. It's way over here on the right-hand side. So I could scroll and find it on the right-hand side. There it is. Um, or if I want it over on the left-hand side, the easiest way to do this is to maximize this frame. If you're not used to doing that, you can click in here and maximize the frame, maximize the frame, or you can hit the tilde key on a North American keyboard. And I'm gonna drag that all the way over to here. There we go. So you can see both of my proxies are attached. I'm gonna tap the same key and uh, bring that back. So they're attached, click on this. I'm now playing back the proxy media and you can see how much more fluid this is. I'm gonna to jump to full screen here and play this back. You can see that, looking pretty good. Now these are uh, high speed clips, so the slow motion is in the clip itself. It's not uh, th that uh, I can't play that back. So I'm playing that back. That is the proxy. That's it, that's how easy that is. Now, wait a minute, what if you're saying, this is fantastic, but I've already created my own proxies. I've already got a whole bunch of high res media. I'm in the middle of a project, no problem. 
Over on the left-hand side, if you select your clip and choose proxy, I right-click, you can create a proxy from here. You can attach a proxy, so I would select that and find the, the proxy and attach it. Um, you can also reconnect full resolution media. So if something does get disconnected here, you can now point to it. Maybe there was a drive mismatch. You've got the project, you've got the proxies, and you've got the high res, but for some reason that all of that media is, is uh, not linking correctly. So you can still do that without having to, to correct everything. Now let's make our own ingest preset. For that, we've got to go to media encoder. And in the little plus section down here, create ingest preset. And this is going to look way more complicated than the uh, create an encoding preset, which was just a codec. Here we're creating a lot of things. This should look very familiar to anyone um, that used Prelude. So I'll create a new name for this preset. I'll call this call and proxy. And I'm, I can choose to copy the files, again, with the same kind of comparison. I don't want to uh, copy those files. I'm gonna transcode those files. I've got them in my proxy folder. There's my H.264 format. And I can use any preset that I want. And for if there's a preset that's not in here, then you have to go make an encode preset inside uh, Media Encoder, save that, and then you'd be able to choose that from here. So maybe, like I said, the aspect ratio, you want something that is not available in the default ones. Well, you can do that. Um, you'll also notice that there is a destination. You have to add a destination. If you try to click out of this and click OK, you're going to get a warning. Don't worry, because when you choose your ingest uh, preset, to ingest, you can bypass this particular uh, folder. No problem, I'll show you that in a sec. You can also add metadata, you can add file name information on this rename files. We're not gonna do that. We're gonna leave this as is and leave it as my proxy. Click OK and you can see there it is, colon proxy. So before we go back into Premiere Pro, we need to export this preset out. So I'm going to Export the preset, and there it is, my proxy. Go back to Premiere Pro, back to Media Browser, and this is where I'm gonna click on my open ingest settings. And I need to add the ingest preset because it's not there yet. So I'll click here, I'll back go back to my folder, there's my proxy, open that up, and now my proxy is set. And remember, this is where I could choose the destination. So like I said, in making the ingest uh, uh, preset, you have to pick a location, but here you can override it, okay? So I can say it's the same as project, or I can use a pre the preset uh, destination that's in there, and it'll you'll notice that it will change right here where, the, where it's creating proxies, same as destination in a different folder and click OK. That's the new one that's set. So that's if I turn on ingest, that's where they will go. So you will use this anytime you're working with very high res media that is just not playing very well. And you could easily use this for HD media and make it really small and work on a really underpowered computer and play that back. Seems like a lot of work for that. But great for things like drone footage that requires lots of, of uh, disk access and lots of CPU. Make it it smaller, make it faster, and make it playback. So that's the new proxy workflow in Adobe Premiere Pro. Hopefully you found this informative. Uh, if you're new to Video Revealed, take a moment and subscribe. If you want to take your sport up a notch, join us over on Patreon for as little as $1 a month. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith, and it's my job to get you looking your best.